assalamu alaikum students today i am going to start the new topic that is paying for electricity means which uh, electricity is used by you you have to pay for this uh, in the, what is electricity that electricity is converted into the light energy and heat energy and you have to pay for that in the form of bills you are paying for the electricity which you are using at your homes appliances usually have their power marked on them at volts or kilovolt means the power the electricity which is consumed by that appliance is marked on it as volt and kilovolt electrical supply company measure electric uh, elect measure energy in kilo hours okay kilovolt are are also called unit of electricity kilovolt hour is also the unit of electricity there is the formula by which the electrical company will find out uh, the usage of electricity Uh, energy is equal to power into time here is one formula which is is one numerical which is given over here electric electricity companies charge for each unit of electricity supplied it is possible to calculate the cost of used an appliance like this for example aapke paas ek appliance hai that is air condition which is using 3 kilo volt of energy electricity in 4 hours so we will multiply power into time we will got 12 kilo volt are that energy which is used by that air condition then we simply multiply this energy to that of the price of the unit that is 10 so we will multiply 12 into 10 you will got 120 rupees means this is the charge for our air condition which is uh, which have a 3 kilo volt uh, in 4 hours uh, in 4 hours now you will see this is our electrical meter which is used to calculate any uh, electrical supply this is used to find out how much electricity is consumed in your houses this is the electrical meter you have to use you will see that these are the two uh, diagram which is uh, present over here meter reading and after 3 month it will be changed you will simply minus the reading of the previous month from that of the next month you will get the reading of the required month Uh, other than that, if each unit of energy costs rupees ten, then it will cost about four four rupees to uh, watch TV all evening, rupees fifteen to bake a cake in an electrical oven, and rupees one twenty uh, one fifty to run a uh, portable air condition unit all day. This is estimated uh, value if one unit is of ten rupees. Now we will talk about uh, another topic that is energy for everyday use. This uh, you will see over here. There is a pie chart given for different types of sources which is present in our earth crust. That is oil, gas, coal, uh, water, solid, wind, and others, and nuclear. There is no uh, word for the electricity because electricity is not directly got from that of the earth crust. It is generated by different types of processes. For example, you will see this thermal power plant. Thermal power plant in which you will use fuel. Uh, for, for example, oil or uh, gas or coal is used in uh, in in that used to generate electricity. Uh, by providing the heat, it is that is why it is called as thermal power station, thermal power station or thermal power plant. Now you will see this is the uh, another hydro electricity station. Means the electricity is generated by using the water over here. You will see the water is converted to the steam by providing the heat. from that steam the electricity is generated this is another way to generate electricity from that of the given resources now there is another topic that is energy production the bad news 
means uh, sub first subtopic is efficiency problem means whenever you will convert one form of energy into another form of energy all the energy is not converted to other form some of this is there is the waste products also or heat energy also generated due to the conversion for example if you convert the electrical energy into the light energy heat energy is uh, released as the waste product in the same way uh, here you will see the uh, diagram, uh, Senki diagram, which shows uh, the efficiency of the typical coal burning power station is only 35%. Only about 35% of energy in the fuel is changed into electrical energy. In the same way, another thing that is the more bad news, unfortunately, there are many more disadvantages to produce energy production than the inefficiency of power station burning fossil fuel produced acid rain. Uh, if you will burn the fossil fuel, it will produce the acid rain because carbon dioxide is released and which will uh, add it in the environment which will cause the acid rain which is dangerous for the human health. The water from the power station warm during the energy production is often dumped into a local river or sea the uh, increasing water temperature can cause serious changes of this ecosystem means the, the hot the heat energy which uh, is uh, the, the water which is used to generate electricity is then dumped into the river which will cause the damage of the uh, life of that of the animal because the uh, temperature will become too high because of the conversion presence of that heat in that water now you will see this is the aerial photo shows the increased temperature of the water uh, leaving a power station. The version on the right shows hot water as as white and yellow and cooler water as red and this is another example of waste thermal heat energy being released into the atmosphere both are too much dangerous that's why it is said that safe and uh, safe electricity so you will save your environment in some areas the warm water produce a power station is used to heat building and home close by uh, much better than harming the environment means because of this uh, uh, procedure uh, the houses and the buildings which is present nearby will become heat up because of that process so that's why you should have to uh, save the electricity so come uh, small amount of energy being wasted this is the work which you have to do these are the questions which you have to complete in your physics copies And this is the book work. You have to do question number one, question number two, and this question number three in your book. You have to complete these questions in your book. This diagram, which is in the question number three, uh, have you have to draw this diagram in your book. Thank you.